Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akium throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, so this lesson is going to be about the crown, all right, because we're, um, we're working for that crown, and the crown is a symbolic of victory, all right, because once we get that crown, it's victory, it's rulership, it's power, all right, that means that we've finished the race, we won the fight, and we earned our title, so when we get the crown, that's rulership, that's the kingdom, that's salvation, that's peace, that's forever. We won. Okay? We were a good and faithful servant unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And we made it. We made it to the end. We endured to the end. And those crowns are everything to a righteous man. You know, this world means nothing to us. Uh, we've left this world behind spiritually and mentally a long time ago or however long you, you've been woken up to this, to this faith. This, there's nothing here for us, but we have everything waiting for us on the other side. The kingdom of heaven is within, is within us. So we have to take full control of our destiny the best way we can. The Lord called us and Lord willing, we are chosen. Lord willing, we are of that elect that we get that crown. All right. Because that's all we, we're working for right now is to please the Lord and to get our crowns. All right. So let's start off with uh, 2nd Edris 2 and 42. It says, I, Edris, saw upon the Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number. And they all praised the Lord with songs. All right. So Edris saw in this vision like a great people. And he couldn't number them. And they were praising the Lord with songs. So let me go ahead and jump over to Psalms 149 and 1. It says, Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. All right. And that new song we're going to be singing. All right. Dancing be in the kingdom all right it'll be in the kingdom and we'll be able to dance and sing upon our beds we'll be able to sleep with peace knowing that we don't have to be oppressed anymore we won't have to worry about our oppressors anymore because they'll be <laughs> they'll be in subjection to us they'll be serving us they'll be too busy serving us all right the only way they'll be bothering us is in a good way when we'll, they'll be asking us, what do you want me to do today? <laughs> All right, because we'll be the bosses by then. All right. Verse uh, five, it says, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand 
to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all the saints, praise ye the Lord. All right, because of that yoke of iron that was put on us, when you read it in the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, starting at the 15th verse, all the way into the 68th verse, it talks about a yoke of iron put on upon our neck. And then when you read, Lord willing, I'll grab it right now, in Deuteronomy, those things that were happening to us, it's going to happen to our enemies. This is, uh, oh man, where you at? Damn. I know it's in Deuteronomy the 30, 30th. Salakia. can't find it but it was basically that the um the curses that were put upon us will be put upon our enemies all right i know it's in um deuteronomy but i can't find it right now but salakia but those curses that are that were put upon us are going to be put upon our enemies all right so everything that they were doing to us you know what i mean those curses are going to turn onto them all right because what goes around comes around, all right? You reap what you sow, all right? So all that wickedness that they was doing that they feel like they got away with, all right? They didn't get away with anything. It's going to be put back upon them, all right, in a major way, all right? Because that's payback. The Bible says that uh, it is a righteous thing to recompense them that trouble you. Recompense means payback. So that payback is on the way. All right? Man, you cannot escape that, man. All right? So that song that we're going to be singing in the kingdom, it's going to be a beautiful song. And we're going to be celebrating. All right? Now, back at 2nd Edris, back at 2nd Edris 2 and 43, it says, And in the midst of them there was a young man, of high stature, taller than all the rest, upon every one, it says, and upon every one of their heads, he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly, right? And that young man is Yahweh Shai, all right? And he said, setting crowns upon these men, all right? And uh, so I asked the angel, and said, Sir, what are these? And he, he answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of God. Now are they crowned and receive uh, palms, all right, which is a form of victory, all right? So, in Revelations, it talks about don't be uh, caught without your garments. That's talking about your spiritual garments. All right. You don't want to be caught out here without your garment. You're meaning you don't want to be caught out here naked. All right. So you want to put on the spirit of the Lord. So those are the righteous men who put on the spirit of the Lord. All right. And walked in the spirit, prayed. You know what I mean? Kept the, the law, statutes, and commandments and were faithful until the end. All right, and they got those psalms. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this Revelations nine, or it's like in Revelation seven and nine. Now, if you read from the top, this is all talking about Israel. All right, twelve thousand from each tribe, starting at verse four, and you read on down. It goes from Judah to Asher to Simeon, all the way down. Now we're gonna read verse nine. 
It says, For this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations. So you look up all nations, right? Ethnos, and all a multitude, all right? Because what? Our people were mixed up amongst the nations. They were scattered amongst the nations, all right? So our people were mixed amongst all the nations. So all our people are everywhere, all right? So it says, of all nations, because that's where our people were. They were mixed amongst uh, uh, different nations. As a matter of fact, let me, uh, let me go ahead and grab that real quick. Lord, when I know it's in, in Acts, it's in Acts 2. Yep. And it says, Acts 2 and 5. It says, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. So this is when all the nations, well, really the Jews, all came together from different nations to gather together. All right. And I'm not going to read verse six. It says, and now when this was a uh, noise abroad, the multitude came together and were uh, confounded because they because that every man heard them speak in their own language and everybody could understand who they uh what language they came from because different uh lands different nations had different languages so they were capable of understanding each other all right so they were coming out of each nation that they were from but they came back to uh serve the lord you know at the pentecost all right keep the high holy days all right so our people were scattered amongst the nations all right now it says all nations all kindreds let's look up kindreds all right fule it says a tribe in the new testament all persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch of jacob a nation a people so those are your race your clan your kindred so those were the kindreds and the people, let's look at people. It says Laos, a people, people group, tribe, nation, all those who are this, of the same stock and language of a great part population gathers together anywhere. So of the same stock and language, a tribe, all right? So you got the same kindreds, the same people out of all the nations. It says and tongues. Stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes and psalms in their hands, which is what we just read in second address. So those men that had those crowns, they had palms in their hands. All right. Which is a symbol of victory. All right. So those were the men that had those crowns. All right. So back at Second Edris 2 and 46, it says, And then said the angel, and then I said unto the angel, What young person is that that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of Man, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to command them, that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy God hath, uh, thou hast seen. All right. So though you, these were the ones that praised the name of the Lord. All right. They praised the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh if you don't praise the name of the Lord, you're not going to get no crown. You got guys out here who claim that we don't know the name and and that the name, of, you know, saying uh, that you ain't got to say the name of the Lord and all this nonsense. But yes, you do, because the Bible says so. This is Sirach 17 and 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. It says the elect shall praise his holy name. All right. Thus saith the Bible. 
All right? The Bible says this. All right? It says at uh, Sirach 13 and 14, it says, Love the Lord all thy life and call upon him for thy salvation. The elect are going to do that. <laughs> Those are the ones that put off the old nature and started calling on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in truth and in sincerity. Those are the elect. Those are the ones that are going to get those palms in their hands and those crowns. If you, you're not of the elect, if you're not calling on the name of the Lord, all right, you're not. So with that, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai.